Hello, everybody. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a few basic features and functionality that you should know about before you start your first project. Let's get started. When you launch Ansys Discovery, you'll see this welcome screen. Before you go to your first project, please watch the videos in the welcome screen as they're very useful in learning about things like UI components, navigation, selection, using different tools, getting help, and so on. When you're done watching these videos, you'll have the option to launch an interactive tour or go directly to the homepage by clicking here. This is the homepage. You'll notice that recent files are displayed on the left. You also have access to sample files by clicking here. You also have access to learning content in this drop down menu. OK, let's uh, import a geometry. To do that, click on Browse and Open Geometry File. Navigate to the appropriate folder, select the file you want to import, and click Open. OK, this is the geometry we're going to use in this particular tutorial. But before I go forward, I want to remind you that at any time, you can hit F1 to launch the Overlay Help System. To exit the Overlay Help System, hit F1 again. You'll notice on the left, we have a model tree, which you can collapse and expand this way. The model tree can be used for things like hiding bodies and also removing bodies from the simulation. Please note that you also have access to a lot of these commands through the right-click menu. OK, let's go ahead and apply a couple of physics input. Now, the first way to do this is to select geometry and then click here to expose the halo. The halo is a very convenient way to access the most commonly used tools. By default, you have access to physics tools such as thermal physics inputs, fluid flow physics inputs, structural physics inputs, and so on. But you also have access to selection tools and geometry editing tools. Let's go ahead and choose the structural physics tool and let's apply a force. The moment I do that, you'll notice that the heads up display or HUD is launched. In the HUD, you can apply whatever appropriate inputs you need to. So let's apply a force of 100 Newtons and hit Enter. You'll notice on the left that this force input shows up on the physics tree. To dismiss the HUD, hit Escape two times, like so. OK, now you can apply these inputs from the ribbon as well. You notice we have the simulation ribbon up here, but we also have other tabs on the ribbon, such as design, facets, display, measure, prepare, and so on. From the simulation ribbon, let's apply a structural support. You notice that that launches the heads up display. Now let's go in here and click the geometry and apply the appropriate uh, inputs and click the check mark. And you'll see once again on the physics tree that particular fixed support input shows up. And I want to remind you that you hit escape two times to dismiss the HUD. OK, now, as I mentioned before, every time I apply a physics input, it shows up on the physics tree. And I can just mouse over to see where that particular input is applied. If I want to edit that input, I can simply double click and it launches the HUD or heads up display for that particular input. Now, while we're on the topic of heads-up display, I want to point out that you can change the size and position of the heads-up display through the settings panel right over here. So you'll notice under the general settings, you have access to heads-up display size. By default, it's comfortable, but you can make it compact, and you notice how it becomes compact in size, or you can make it wide as you can see over here. Now, this is personal preference, so choose whichever heads-up display size you prefer. I prefer comfortable myself. While we have the settings panel open, I also want to point out that you can do things like change navigation settings, units, and other options associated with um, the ANSYS Discovery tool. And let's hit Escape two times 
to dismiss the heart. Okay, a couple of final things. I want to point out that if I select a face like this, the right side of the HUD allows me to change color like so. And it also allows me to change things like the transparency of a particular body. And then finally, on the bottom left, you have access to different view controls. So you have the triad, which you can use to snap to different positions. You can set the, you can snap to the home view, set different home views. And finally, you can do different types of rendering like wireframe and shaded and so on. So there you have it. Those are the basic controls and functionalities that you need to be aware of. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much and have fun with Ansys Discovery.